I know with many shoulder issues, a main contributor is the pec minor being very tight. So that chest muscle at the top needs to be worked out and massaged and you can do it yourself with a hard ball, like a lacrosse ball, and just push it into the wall and find a tight and tender area. It shouldn't be that hard to find. Now, once you find a constricted area, begin to move the muscle over the ball by raising and lowering your arm very slowly. So you should feel some of that tension begin to work itself out. And this should help the healing process of the shoulder. Now, I also want you to touch on the outside of your shoulder right there on the shoulder ball. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Just hit it with the ball for about 30 seconds on each side. And this will also increase blood flow to the area, which will promote healing. Okay, now that we've massaged the pec muscle, we want to stretch it open so you can just find a doorway. Bring your elbows nice and high, either shoulder level or a little bit above shoulder level, and let your body fall into the door. Okay, now let's talk about scooping our shoulder blades under. We want mobility in the scapulas. We want to be able to scoop them under and drag them down and keep them that way. The scapula acts as a girdle for your shoulder and if it gets stuck or if it's weak, then your shoulder blade will literally come off of your rib cage and then fall forward, which it seems, it looks like that's what's happening in your right shoulder. So we just wanna practice scooping the shoulder blade under. So you can see I go forward and back, rolling my shoulder ball forward and back and trying to activate the muscles underneath my armpit, underneath the shoulder blade. Okay, another mobility movement that I want you to do for opening up the chest is just a little spine twist here. This one will feel really, really good for your upper body and it may give you some temporary relief from some shoulder pain that you might have. You can do five to 10 on each side and look up at your hand with your head and your neck and your eyes Follow it and try to get a full range of motion, twisting your spine all the way in one direction and all the way in the other direction. And you can do it a lot slower than this. I'm just showing you and trying to make the video short. Okay, next we wanna do more scooping and torquing of the arms. So I'm pushing against the ground, letting my shoulders roll forward, and then intentionally twisting them back. And again, I'm scooping my shoulder blades under, and I'm feeling the contraction in my lats. And then you can try some scapula push-ups, where you're just sinking in and squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades, and then push away from the ground. Pretend you're pushing the ground away from you and smooth out the top of your back. So we don't wanna crunch up in your neck. We want it to be lower. So think about squeezing lower on your back and not up in your traps in your neck. Okay, when there is a shoulder injury that has occurred, it's likely that your serratus muscle, that muscle right there under your armpit, is weak or dormant. So I like to use a band that's attached to something high, something higher than eye level, and use that muscle, that little muscle under your armpit to control and push the weight down. 
You're not going to let the weight just flop back up, but you're going to control it with a scooped shoulder blade. You have to make sure you roll back and scoop under first before you start pushing the band down. Now this is a very thin and pretty light band and I'll send you a link to the one that I use. Okay, next you can grab a light dumbbell or anything you can put in your hand and I want you to turn your palm out about 30 degrees and laterally just raise it up about shoulder level. You don't have to go any higher than that. And if you feel pain, just go a little bit lower than, than the point where you start to feel pain. I want you to notice that the shoulder ball is turned out before you begin to raise. So we wanna turn it out scoop under and raise it nice and controlled, nice and slow, keeping your upper body stacked over your lower body and your abs engaged. We don't wanna raise up with our neck or with our traps. Again, we want to keep it all scooped under. We want stable but mobile scapulas. Okay, you can take that same light band with an underhand grip and tuck your elbows in and then begin to open and hold it there for about five seconds. Okay, so you'll open two, three, four, five and let it in slowly. I'm trying to squeeze my shoulder blades together. So I'm actively pinching a pencil between my shoulder blades in the back and I'm continuing to hold two, 